Well, our next guest is fighting to end the war on weed. His group ran campaigns for medical marijuana laws in eight states, but he says that that's only the beginning. Our special series, High Noon, continues as we bring in Stephen Gutwillig, director of the Drug Policy Alliance for the state of California. And I presume the medical marijuana laws were the first step to what you eventually want is complete legalization. That's right. It's great to be with you this afternoon. More and more Americans, of course, are recognizing like, that like alcohol prohibition 75 years ago, marijuana prohibition has been a colossal failure all around in that it fuels a massive, increasingly violent underground economy that guarantees profits to brutal criminal syndicates on both sides of the border while robbing taxpayers of billions of dollars of potential revenue, wasting an estimated $8 billion of scarce law enforcement resources while making criminals of tens of millions of otherwise law-abiding Americans, nearly 850,000 of whom were arrested for marijuana offenses last year alone. Well, that's the change, though. I want, then the, let's, let's talk about what happened yesterday with the Obama administration. You must be, I'm, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. happy that the administration has now come out, and Eric Holder, our attorney general, is saying that they will not go after uh, criminally, the federal on the federal side, uh, medical marijuana users and suppliers. You must view yesterday as a victory for your group. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday was a was a was a big day. It represents a, a, a profound de-escalation of the federal government's war on medical marijuana patients and their caregivers. It also represents the federal government saying that they're going to follow the lead of states when it comes to marijuana policy. And we believe that medical marijuana has led the way toward a discussion in the country of the failures of marijuana prohibition generally. The polling indicates that there is enormous support for medical marijuana. 70 to 80 Americans understand that people should be allowed access to medical marijuana to relieve their suffering. And that, of course, is driving everyone's understanding of the relative harms of marijuana compared to uh, alcohol and tobacco, which, you know, marijuana is far less is far less harmful. And the polling is now indicating a Gallup poll that came out yesterday showed that a record 44 percent of Americans around the country think that we should be taxing and regulating marijuana like alcohol. Well, what is the goal then? I mean, I know that you want to legalize marijuana, but how do you make that argument to the people of California because you're the director there, but also your group is national, we should say. How do you make that argument to the American people who say it is an illegal substance, you're going to get drug dealers that are going to be abusing the system, you're going to have a lot of crime uh, and, and a lot of illegal activity based on this. What do you say to, to, the, to the folks out there that, that don't like this idea? Well, f sure. Well, frankly, the argument is being made by itself. Whether we like it or not, Marijuana is now a mainstream recreational drug, second only to alcohol and cigarettes, but objectively far less harmful than both of those. Recent government statistics show that well over 26 million Americans used marijuana last year alone, over 100 million in their lifetimes. Marijuana is a, is a, mainstream, is a mainstream drug that really needs to be taxed and regulated and educated about as we do as we do other mainstream drugs and Americans are now absolutely recognizing that they see that that uh, marijuana prohibition only fuels this brutal uh, this brutal war that's taking place on, on both sides of the border, particularly in Mexico, where uh, thousands and thousands of people are dying unnecessarily, largely over not marijuana itself, but the money that the underground economy guarantees for these criminal syndicates. Stephen Gutwillig, a fascinating topic, and we're glad that you could join us for our series, California State Director for the uh, Drug Policy Alliance. Thank you, Stephen. It's great to be with you. All right. Well, folks, High Noon continues all this week.